Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team. First of all, let me go ahead and apologize for the stream yesterday. The stream ended up being a lot later than usual and I didn't even play Madden. I ended up playing GTA. For those of you that were in there, we didn't have a ton of people in there, but you know, we were just chilling, um, playing GTA Heist. So I ended up doing that with my friends pretty late. I think I streamed from like 10.30 to 1.30 around there. So, you know, we ended up streaming for a couple hours, um, had some fun. But other than that, uh, I ended up streaming really late because I felt like shit during the day. I ended up um, pretty much sleeping throughout, you know, noon when I usually stream. So, or early afternoon, late afternoon, wherever I usually stream, usually in that window, um, slept through it. So, you know, <laughs> I, luckily I did wake up and I did feel a lot better. So, you know, I was able to at least stream yesterday, but I know a lot of people probably weren't up. And I know a lot of people probably, uh, you know, a lot of people do live in different time zones and watch my stream, stuff like that. So, it may not be the easiest way to watch my stream, especially when I'm streaming that late. So, I apologize for that. I'm looking to get a normal stream in today. So, hopefully I can do that. And uh, again, I'm feeling a lot better. So, you know, I, sh I should be good. But this game right here, just talking about the gameplay now, finally getting into the gameplay. Uh, this was a defensive battle that all of a sudden just turned into us scoring, not at will, but, you know, it turned into a pretty good shootout. Um, but you guys see at the beginning, you know, right there, Nigel Bradham dropping an easy pick. Trey Wayne's getting the sack. And we get the ball back after we made an awful read on the first play of the game. It was absolutely terrible. My first game of the day, I ended up playing it really early in the morning because, you know, I got done streaming at like 1-something. And I ended up playing this game, I don't know, like 2.30 or something like that. Because I needed a game for today. So, you know, I, I guess I was a little bit rusty and I hadn't played a game all day. So, you know, pretty terrible. Um, but a bad read. And then we ended up stopping him, luckily. So, he didn't get any points out of that drive. Like I said, defensive battle. He gets that pick. We get that stop. And then we end up fumbling. John Ross ends up getting stripped by Night Train Lane. So, he gets the ball back. Again, another defensive play was made. And then we ended up getting another stop. And now we get the ball back, but now we're threatening, but we end up getting stuffed on third and goal, turning it into fourth and goal, of course, and we do have to go ahead and take our field goal, and then he fires the dot to LaDainian Thompson, not really a dot, but out of the backfield, you guys see he's just getting a lot of yards, getting himself to the 40, eventually gets to the 27-yard line, where John Ross, with that speed, gets down the sideline and gets pretty close to the end, so I'm getting down the five-yard line, but he does eventually cash in on second and goal. Um, faking a bunch of, uh, I don't know, just a bunch of fake audibles, stuff like that. He does end up getting into the end zone to make it 7-3, to three, so we are losing. But we make quick work of this drive as Vance McDonald, again, like I said, just turns into a shootout. We started moving on offense, that stops, it just started, basically the offense started going. And right here, Chad Johnson gets open in the end zone, and in two plays, we get down the field and we do end up scoring. I just hit my mic, but anyway... <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, 10-7. We do end up going up, and right here, he narrowly, narrowly avoids throwing a user pick. But the next play, he ends up running a couple routes over the middle. All of them were jumbled up, and just throw right at me, man. Why the fuck not? He goes at me twice, and luckily, one of them at least went my way. Bobby Wagner does come up with the interception, and we do end up getting a free field goal because he threw that interception. Free, uh, free points, man. If you give them up, they will kill you. And right here, playing bad defense will kill you as well. That wasn't good. Um, I ended up switching to a blitz because I saw he was running trips with a bunch of tight ends out there. I, I fucked up making the actual adjustment, and I gave up a huge run to LaDainian Tomlinson. Jay Ajayi coming out and uh, does get you know a pretty good amount of yards right there. About 12, running over a couple people. First and 10, Jameis Winston rolling out, looking, finding Vance McDonald. He barely catches that. It looked like Night Train Lane got a late animation, but luckily we were able um, to still fit that one in there. But then we get stuck in third and nine at the 29. And Randy Moss was unfortunately not able to uh, get that catch. So we do end up taking our field goal to go up 16-14. to 14, And this game is completely turned, again, from a defensive battle really into, you know, kind of a scoring at will. Um, who's going to score and, you know, who's going to do it better, of course. And right here, Paul Puzzles, this dude does make a pretty bad read going over the middle. And Paul Puzzles does come up with the interception. And right there, we make a terrible read. And we lose 10 yards on an intentional grounding play. But luckily, we do get the 10 yards back with Janovich the next play. So we're back in field goal range. And at this point, that's all they wanted. But Jack Doyle, this dude doesn't make many plays on my team. For those of you that watch the streams, you know, he just doesn't make plays really at all. I usually sub in Jimmy Graham, but sometimes I forget right there I did. But he does get the first. And then right here, Jimmy Graham, our real starting tight end, does end up streaking down the sideline, getting himself to the one-yard line. We get so close to the end, so I'm a third and goal after this dude was stuffing me. as a pretty good goal line defense. We finally do get in, though, on third and goal with a QB sneak with Jameis Winston. And now he's looking deep. He does chuck it deep, and Jalen Ramsey makes a nice play and breaks that one up. So now second and ten, he's looking with Cam, 99 Cam. Forgot to really mention that. You guys saw it, but this dude does have that elusive 99 cam um, that's worth like 3 mil. Right here, he does 
Make a pretty bad read, but gets away with it. Third and 10, rolling out with Cam once again, chucking it deep, and it is broken up by Janoris Jenkins. Both my starting corners making great plays. And fourth and 10, this dude did not see the pressure coming as Sean Smith comes up with the sack, and that is going to do it. The free three points they ended up giving me on that user pick before half definitely came back to kill him. And, you know, after it being a pretty lazy defensive battle first half, it ended up turning into a pretty good game in the second half. And 23-14 is the final score. So anyway, I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to look out for the next one. And as always, the Anders Army, I'm out.